welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to do design of reinforcement concrete building using robot structural analysis with the european code these are the list of european standards we need to perform design of reinforcement concrete building self height and impose load that is dead load and live load to be referred as per european standard en 1991 part 1 section 1 2002 structure exposed to fire en 1991 part 1 section 2 2002 snow loads european standard en 1991 part 1 section 3 2003 wind load en 1991 part 1 section 4 2003 for seismic load en 1998 part 1 2004 load combination in ultimate limit state and serviceability limit state we need to refer en 90 1990 2002 design of concrete structures en 1992 from part 1 2 3 So this is part two video of the model design of uh, reinforcement concrete building using robot structural analysis with the European standard. So in this video we are going to look how to create the wind simulations process in x and y directions, seismic load which are considering of a model analysis, seismic direction and loads, seismic load combinations. So these are the two major parameters that is wind simulations and seismic load we are going to discuss in this part two of this videos please also watch our part one video to understand more about this part two video for wind simulation click loads menu again wind loads simulation generate wind loads in that you need to define the direction so we can consider x and y direction for this demonstration purpose so first direction is x plus positive wind pressure i am going to consider as 1.7 how this 1.7 had come means we need to calculate this value as manually how to calculate this manually using excel sheet is well explained in our previous video the video link is uh, given in the description you can also find those and watch that video to understand how to calculate wind pressure using excel format in european standard that to european standard 1991 part 1 section 4 is used for that so as per that uh, reference i had considered 1.7 kN per square meter so terrain level is 0 meter and the element i am going to apply it in all the elements 1 to 46 openings in panels close to for window flow s yes. generate loads when loads deviation factor is less than 0.5 meter even you can select 0 percentage also but that simulation process will take more time so let we consider 0.5 then click start so you can see in this table where the simulation process is going on in that table in the last column you can see the deviation percentage which is get reducing and even now we are having 56% this will this simulation process will go until all this three rows get come to 0.5 percentage which we had defined earlier so let we see how much time it is taking meanwhile you can see the screen here how the simulation process is going on so that wind is doing wind simulation process is going on by robot analysis so 3% 2.75% so the percentage is keep on decreasing so now it is 10.98 is coming again it is keep on increasing this simulation process now it is decreasing so once this 0.5 percentage is attained this simulation process will stop and it will apply the actual wind effect on every members so that the simulation process can get completed
so if you give zero percentage means consider that uh, time consumption for this simulation process it will take more than 0.5 percent now you can see this tab which is showing the load case 3 is created for wind in x direction so now similar like you need to create you need to create in y direction also so again it is 1.70 meter uh, terrain level 1246 and 0.5 start Now the wind in y direction is created under load case 4. So you can see here in the load list. So this is a wind load x direction view. This is y direction view. So we had done the simulation of wind in x and y direction. Next we will see the seismic load. The first step in calculating seismic loads are creating the model analysis. For that, before creating the model analysis, we have to set this entire model as a rigid link. For that, click tools, job reference. In structural analysis, you need to click uh, select this relink or link elements that means the rigid links to be formed and the model analysis types coefficient of participation and the mass matrix type we need to select as per our requirement and for seismic reactions what are the reactions is required what are the parameters to be considered while doing seismic analysis those parameters we need to select here and save current parameters as default and click OK. Next for model analysis, select analysis menu, click analysis types, in that click new, select model and click OK. And you need to give the parameters like number of models, let it be considered as 5. Then tolerance, we can leave it as it is. Lumped without rotations, we have selected. And the direction, active mass directions are X, Y, Z. And click OK. Now, we need to go to loads and mass conversion. Here, we need to create convert cases for that we need to add sulfate that is a dead load and a live load we have to select this and click this double arrow upward and click close so that you can see here the load which is selected here in converted case as one direction or x y z it is in downward coefficient is one add this similar like again we need to add live load also as per european standard 
so again you need to click here in now you need to select a live load click again ok the load case 2 is visible here as per standard code there are some 20 or 50 percent to be considered we need to refer based upon the importance of structures so i am considering here as a 20 percentage so that the coefficient is 0 0.2 for live load adding here now we had added the mass for the model analysis so now after adding this to live load and dead load or any further load record for our project we need to click this calculations so now the model analysis is performed we can close this window now so after performing this model analysis we need to check the reactions whether the mass participations are done above expected range that means in some of the customer used to expect that the mass participation to be done more than 90 percent so for that we need to click results in that advanced click model analysis so in this in this table you can see the relative mass percentage in ux and uy whereas the mass participation happened is 99.61 which is in expected range above 90 percent if in case this mass participation percentage is not expected as per the limit say for example if it is less than 60 percentage or something we need to increase this mode shape how this we can do let me see so for that again you need to go analysis types in that we already defined this model we need to modify this by double click in that here you need to click advanced parameters in that we need to select C Smith. So here a percentage of mass participations you need to type as per your desired percentage say for 95 percentage or whatever percentage is expected by the customer. But in our case we had attained 99 percent so we can leave these steps and directly go to the directional load calculation of seismic. So for seismic directional force calculations, click new, select seismic. In this, you can select the standards to be referred. And then click OK. Yes. So you can able to see here these parameters should be given as per the European standard and the project specification. For seismic calculation using manual Excel spreadsheet, you can refer another video which we had uploaded. The link for that video is given in the description. So here for this demonstration, we can select ground type as B. AG that peak ground acceleration we can consider as 1 meter per second square. Let it be using the design spectrum curve and uh, spectrum type is type 1. We can consider like that. And uh, next, we need to define the direction definition. Here, x, y, z, three directions are given. Whereas, if required, we can consider all the three directions. If suppose if I don't want to calculate in Z direction, that is vertical direction, I can mark it as 0 here. And if your seismic load calculation 
to be performed as per the combination group you need to select here group 1 2 or 3 this is based upon en 1998 which is a european code now you can click okay so after uh, providing all the data even including this behavioral factor you can select click okay so now you can see here the seismic load is calculated now so along with the combination which we have selected in the group also calculated so this group 1 2 3 are calculated as combination factor so this is how seismic load is calculated thank you look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for notification towards more updates If you have questions or feedback please feed in comment box thank you